Hey guys, today I have an unboxing, and as you can see, it is the VCube 7 Illusion. Now, this is my first unboxing in a very long time. I actually haven't ordered any puzzles for absolutely ages. And the only reason I got this is because my mum bought it me from Amsterdam. Um, why they were selling these in Amsterdam, I don't know, but uh, I've actually wanted one of these for a really long time. I think they look really interesting. So, Let's get into it, I guess. Um. Okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. Wow. This looks really nice. And I can see what they mean by illusion. I'm guessing it's going to be quite confusing to solve, but uh, yeah, let's compare it to my normal VCube 7. Of course, they are exactly the same size. Um, yeah, close up on the plastic, you can kind of catch it in the light, but you can kind of see marks on it here. So it kind of looks like they are just the pieces that they would use in their normal VCube 7. Uh, you can see the lines down the pieces where they match up together. That's mainly on the the black side. Oh, that's because they're all black. Wow. Um, so it's going to be very interesting trying to solve this. I kind of understand the concept. Um, by the looks of it, five of the sides have black centers, and then there's one with a white center and of course because all the corners are black uh, this they have these kind of borders around it so from what I've heard you have to solve just this face I guess that's including the edges as well though and that will solve the whole puzzle because on these five sides no matter how many times you turn the pieces are all the same because of the same colour, so that's why you can't exactly scramble it. So, hmm, looks interesting. I wonder what it looks like in a checkerboard pattern. Okay, that turns really nice, and wow. <laughs> that's really weird. I like that. Yeah, this is weird. It turns better than this VCube 7, which I've had for a very long time. I'm not sure why this turns better, but oh well. Yeah, that's a really nice checkerboard pattern. <laughs> the plastic, I don't know, it looks a bit kind of, I don't know, it has kind of like the factory markings on it, so it doesn't look quite as smooth, but I guess that's because it doesn't have stickers on it. But yeah, I expect this is going to be very, very fun to solve, even if it is just one face. But um, I'm going to scramble it, actually. Now, I don't usually like higher order puzzles, but I have a feeling this one's going to be quite fun. Kind of reminds me of a, a crossword. <laughs> Okay, so it's quite, I'm guessing it's quite hard to scramble because all the pieces are the same apart from one face. So when the pieces actually do match up, that's because they contain pieces from this one white face. Ooh, I have a feeling edge pairing is going to be difficult as well because all the edges are solid colours apart from the few, apart from the four sets of edges on the white face. So this is going to be pretty interesting actually. Not sure if I'm going to be doing a review of this. Uh, probably not because you know I've, I've seen a load of reviews of this already. And it has been out for quite a long time. So yeah, but it turns very, very nice. I don't know whether that's just lucky because this is a good one. Or something like that. But 
yeah, I'm going to try and solve this. Should be fun. I have a quick update because I know I haven't been uploading videos at all recently. Um, I'm currently, you know, halfway through the exam season. Uh, I've got all my proper exams, they're called GCSEs for people that aren't in the UK. And um, basically, they're going on until June, like the end of June, so I won't be uploading many videos. Uh, I actually have a cube collection which I've made, and I will upload that. But after that video, I will not have any more videos until summer. So I'm sorry about that, guys, but I've got to try and pri prioritize. But um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.